Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hellraiser Bestiary. This is a continuation of Hellraiser The Dark Watch, which is a comic series I did here on the channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can find it linked down below if you missed it. Now that being said, this is the continuation, so if you did miss it, it is important to go and check that out so you can get caught up. But that being said, let's dive right into it. We open in hell, the monastery in view. We see a row of Cenobites walking towards the labyrinth, or walking to the monastery. And we hear a familiar voice. It's the female Cenobite. Usually, when all hell breaks loose, it's a metaphor. It wasn't this time. There was chaos, war, infighting, and far too many casualties. But looking at them, you'd never know. All is forgotten now that their high priest has returned to them. So here they gather and wait. Their numbers double with each passing day, hoping he'll grace them with his presence. He, however, has shown no interest in addressing the huddled masses. No, his interest remains focused. We see the female Cenobite looking at the back of Pinhead. Bodies are strung up by chains, pools of blood and guts at their feet. And then we see why. In an instant, Pinhead raises his hands, and they explode. Upon his return, he laid waste to more sinners in two days than most Cenobites manage in a lifetime. And then she speaks to Pinhead. Shall I have the remains removed, my priest? No, bring me more. But the congregants, my lord, their numbers... Mean nothing to me. When this room is filled with enough blood to drown a man, then perhaps I will be satisfied. My priest, I yearn for the days when our only desires were to taste each other's pleasures. Her hand raises up and gently touches Pinhead's skull. And feast on each other's pain. As she digs her nails in and draws blood, she gets a stern reminder that this is now a changed Pinhead. Control yourself. Bring me more bodies. As you wish. His time on Earth had changed him. That much was obvious. Days passed, and the ever-increasing throng began to grow impatient. We see the Cenobites gathering at the base of the monastery in Hell. They demanded that their priest address them. Some began to doubt that he had returned at all. We see mutilated flesh, mounds of Cenobites heaving on top of one another, and they began to fight. They formed small factions, and soon the infighting began anew. And, and female stares down at them. Yet still, as his congregants slaughtered one another in his name, he remained absorbed in his self-appointed tasks. It was... Disturbing. Not the infighting amongst the Cenobium, nor my lord's lack of interest in the pursuits of the flesh, and certainly not his insatiable bloodlust. No, it was the expression he wore when conducting his infernal business. It was all so utterly foreign 
It left me questioning everything. And we see Pinhead's face. He'd been smiling. Elliot Spencer, his humanity perhaps seeping through his time on Earth, most assuredly changed him as he drowns a man. You have executed enough sinners to drown one in the blood of the others. Are you satisfied now, my priest? No. He swings his arms to one side, and the bodies that are hanging there chained up the sinners of Leviathan's hell begin to get torn limb from limb. And he stands there, his arms outstretched. Jesus Christ pose, his head looking upward. As the blood rains down, covers his face. Now. I am satisfied. Have this mess cleaned up. I have a congregation to address. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of part one. I thought I would chime in here really quickly because there will be some people questioning the art style and such because it is so different from Hellraiser The Dark Watch. This is a form of a, a, a prologue, perhaps. It's just there to give a quick reminder and background setting. So please don't think that this is indicative of the art style uh, that will be seen moving forwards. I can assure you that it is completely different. And in the famous words of Pinhead, I have such sights to show you. Because yes, things improve from here and the stories get longer, but this was important just to set some background information, as you could say anyway. I hope you enjoyed it, and again, remember, if you're watching this and you missed everything else, it is so important to go and catch up. It is nearly eight hours worth, I believe, in that playlist. I'll leave that link down below, and if I have made them by now, the complete read-through as each individual video because I'm compiling them as one long video. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please do give a big thumbs up. These are a labor of love. I've enjoyed making them, but YouTube doesn't really like them. So please do give a thumbs up. Take care.